In John's gospel, these are the last words that Jesus pours into his disciples before he gets to the cross. Now we're gonna go to the Gethsemane and we're gonna see some really ugly things, but don't miss this. This is the closing passage from John's gospel of Jesus pouring in to the disciples before the cross. Now, you know your Bibles, most of you, well enough to know this, we're not done. And Jesus is gonna have some more to say, but I pray that you'll recognize that there's a difference between what he says right before the cross and what he says just before he ascends. And part of my prayer is today, you'll recognize the relationship between these two because they go together like peanut butter and jelly. They're all a part of God's call on yours and my life, Christian. Let me tell you the timeless truth for today. And again, I wanna remind you, we're in amongst the most practical and beautiful passages in all of scripture. Let me just tell it to you this way and then we'll kind of unpack from here. Jesus yearns for you to be ready. Jesus yearns for you to be ready. This is the essence of his closing remarks. And as he speaks to the disciples that are physically with him, make no mistake, he's speaking to you and me, disciple. He's speaking not only to those that are with him, but those that will come through him. And this will become very clear to you next week if it's not already. Now, I have to warn you on the front side, this passage has many themes weaving through it. And I pray that you'll see each one and that you'll recognize the beauty. See, for example, the theme of a crescendo, that Jesus knows exactly what's about to happen. He knows where the thing is here in terms of a chronological storyline. He knows that he's saying those last things here in this gospel before literally hell is going to break loose. So don't miss the theme of a crescendo. That's on purpose. Don't miss the theme of urgency here throughout the passage, the constant repeating of a time component and a natural urgency in the tone of Jesus' words. See the call to prayer and the relationship to prayer in the context of trials and tribulations that Jesus never for a second tried to skirt around. He always told the truth about trials and temptations and tribulations. And I pray more than anything else, you don't miss this. Listen for the spirit of joy. You see, you and I have not just been called and commanded to the Great Commission. We've been empowered for the Great Commission. This is what Jesus' spirit is all about. All of the previous passage was to let us know that his spirit is coming, not just to us, but in us as believers for a purpose. And a major part of that purpose is that you and I, in the midst of all the struggles down here, would know his power and his peace. And in the midst of that peace, up would come his joy, that you and I would have the joy of Jesus in the midst of our call to be his great commission instruments of love and light.